All right, well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Where uh, we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Also, a church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, join us. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. All we ask you to do is be ready and be prepared to receive what God has for you. Because he's got something for you. Don't pass it on to somebody else. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I want something. I want something, you know, when when the goods are being passed, next Sunday we have fellowship and we're going to have uh, uh, foods, amen? And yeah. if you don't pass it up, you want something for you, amen? So when it's time to eat, you want your shit. So God's got some spiritual food for you. Let's get the spiritual in first before we get the physical stuff yes. in there, amen? So praise God. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo and we welcome all our NBC family. All our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Again, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for us. Amen. Listen, just a quick reminder. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct his children. Amen. He's our Heavenly Father and we're his children. Quit going around, quit, quit, quit going, uh, calling yourself a sinner. You're not a sinner anymore. You're a child of God. Yes. See yourself that way. Amen. And start living that way. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Amen. We're going to be talking about give it to Jesus. Amen. Yes, I know this is the Christmas season. Yes, I know uh, that he's the reason for the season. But still, we got some things that we yeah. need to give. Amen. Amen. And sometimes all we think about is presents, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> God gave his present. He gave his only begotten son. We're going to be, that's going to be our text. Amen. So. Let's, uh, before we get going, grab your sword, soldier of God, warrior of God, and let's make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking about God. I'm only convinced. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Man, you can say that each and every day. I'm not going to be the same. Why? Because I'm growing. I'm growing in the things of God. Or you can say maturing. He wants us yes. to mature. He don't want us to be baby Christians all That's our lives. It. That's it. Amen. He don't want the devil running all over us That's all it. the time. All we got to put him on the run. How do yeah. we do? Yeah. Get in the word. You know the word. Mm -hmm. And then you take authority. You resist him. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> the book stops here. Yeah. This is where you stop. No more. There's a bloodline. You cannot cross. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Start speaking the word. You get yeah. it in you. But you got to release it. You got to speak it out. Confess it. Amen. Yes. And you can do it too. <laughs> Praise God. So prepare yourselves. I got to, let me see. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But um, we're talking about give it to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Give it, cast it all on him. Not just a little bit, but all. Oh, cast oh. it all on him. Let me see what I wrote here. I know it's Christmas season. Jesus is the reason for the season. Oh, yeah. But... There's other things happening, you know. There's yeah. a lot of cares, a lot of concerns, yes. and your man, your mind is 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 full. And where is the battlefield? The battlefield is the mind, and that's where the enemy attacks. You know, when you're overloaded, guess what? He comes in and says, "Hey, you can just take it easy. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can just do this. You know, mm -hmm. forget about this. Uh -uh. Hey, man, forget about no. Christ. Forget about this. Forget about that. No, it's time for you to press in, yes. Amen, and give it to Him. Don't you don't have to carry it any longer. Mm -hmm. If you give it to him, that means you don't have to carry it. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so easy. He's done it all. All we need to do is obey yeah. what his word says. Obey, be obedient. Amen. And uh, if the weights of your cares, problems, and burdens feel overwhelming, <laughs> it's time to let them go. Amen. Why are you still holding on to them? Well, you think you can do a better job than he can? He went to the cross. And he was sacrificed. Yes. And he carried all these mess with him. All these sins, all these cares, all these people. He carried all this. Sickness, everything else. God put it all on his son. Yes. And Jesus paid it all. Mm -hmm. He paid a debt he didn't know. Mm -hmm. And we owe a debt we can't pay. Yeah. Amen. So it's time for you to give it all to him. Amen. He's telling us what to do. You don't have to carry it anymore. Yes. Give, cast it all on him. Yes. Let's be obedient. We have a choice. We have choices we gotta make each and every day. Let's make let's let's make the right decisions right here. Yeah. Give it all to him. 
don't not have not little but all he says all means all oh. <laughs> amen i've got a that's my new glasses <laughs> i've got a, a little scripture break i want to uh, read to you and it goes like this release the past you know we're ready to go into a new year mm. amen we're closing out this year 2023 and we're going to open up 2024 amen but it says release the past one of the main keys to overcoming disappointments regrets cares in life is learning to let go of the past yes amen, amen. and amen. the enemy mm -hmm. the thief yeah. He comes to do what? Steal, yeah. kill, destroy. Uh, sometimes friends, sometimes families. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll remind you yeah. of your past. Oh, yeah. You got to remind them. I'm a child of God. The, pa yeah. I have, yeah. the yeah. past yeah. is gone. It says, the past is gone, the new is in. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You got to let go of the past by choosing to forgive those who have hurt you and wronged you. Hurt you by believing that God will restore to you you anything he has taken mm -hmm. when you receive christ uh forgiveness in your own life you will release from uh, the pressures to make up for the past mistakes of failure yes, you can begin to experience the bright for a uh, future god has in store for you amen he's got a future for you yes the bible says you can do all things through christ the old is gone the new is in so quit seeing yourself in the old that is gone <laughs> amen it is gone god has a bright future in store for you don't let the regrets of yesterday destroy the hopes of today amen amen no matter what the, uh, happens in the past god is a god of restoration he will restore what the enemy has stolen from you yes. accept god's mercy and forgiveness today and look forward to the great plans he has for your future Amen. you know as children of god thank god for my future if he ain't called you home that means <laughs> he's still using you yes. and he wants to use you mm -hmm. if you're not being used then we need to pray for you <laughs> and you have to receive him as your lord and savior and when you receive him as your lord and savior the old is gone the new is in and now you can start doing all things for him amen and he wants to use each and every one of us i don't care how old you are, how young you are, or how bad you sin. Amen. When he went to the cross, he paid for it all. Yes, he did. Amen. So we need to remember this. Quit listening to uh, traditional things, mm -hmm. old things, uh, uh, people's uh, minds, you know, oh, judging man. you. That's gone. When, when you receive Christ, he's forgiving you. He says he forgives and forgets. Yes, he does. People don't. And the oh, enemy yeah. sees to it that he brings this to your mind. That battlefield is busy all the time. Yeah. You renew your mind with the word of God. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting this battle all your life. Yes. Renew my mind with the word of God. Amen. Ooh. Start over. Yes. I don't care how many times you have to do it. Luke 9, 62 says this. It says, but Jesus says to him, no one having put his hands to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. That's it. That's it. Amen. You can't mm -hmm. drive looking backwards. Mm -hmm. You can't drive on reverse forever. Amen. You gotta says press on. Yes. That means yeah. go ahead. Quit looking back. That's it. That's what the enemy wants you to do. That's what people wants the people mm -hmm. want you to do. Amen. So let's not do that. Uh Philippians 3, uh, 13 and 14. We're gonna be reading these in the, again in a few minutes. Easy to read versions. I want you to really get it. Amen. Write this down. It says Philippians 3, uh, chapter 3 verses 13 and 14. It says brothers and sisters. I know that I still have a long ways to go. Oh yeah. We have a long ways to go. We say oh man. But I'm getting over. Quit thinking that way. Well, that's Amen. It, that's it. But there is one thing I do. I forget what is in the, in the past. And try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's got a mission for you. He's yes, got... Yes a race that he wants you to do amen yes. he's got something he wants you to do he's called us here to do something be reconciled reconciling people to the world i mean to, to him yeah. to him you know so you go into the world reconcile people back to him we have something to do i've, I've told you you know you don't have to go 
uh, overseas or anywhere else. This is your world. So yes, going right to now. all the world. Your world is where you happen to live, where you happen to shop, where you happen yes. to go to go be oh, around. Yeah. That's you. He's the closest That's thing right. to a Bible yeah. some people will see or read. Mm -hmm. So why are you still whole? Why are you still uh, uh, locked on? And why are you still, your lips are still closed? You got to oh, open man. up and say something. You know. Amen. Yes. Sometimes we say something when we shouldn't. Mm. We need to say it when the Lord says, yes. let them know I care for them. Yes, say a kind word. Amen. <coughs> then you speak. The word of God wants to flow out of you, out of your innermost being. You get full of the word, but out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living, living water. water. Mm -hmm. Man, the words you speak, whether it be one or, 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 or many, still is living. Yes. He told, what did he tell Peter? He says, Peter says, hi, I want to come play with you, Jesus. He's walking in the water. He said, I want to come. All he said was one word. He says, come. That was enough. So whatever you say, if God just told me to say this, that means a whole lot. Amen. It has life in it and not death. Amen. Where was I? <laughs> but there is one thing I do. I forget the things that in the past and try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. I keep running hard towards the finish line mm -hmm. to get the prize that is mine because God has called me through Christ Jesus yes. to live up there in heaven. Mm -hmm. Before he calls you, we stay busy for him. Mm -hmm. We stay, we, we, we serve him each yes. and, and, every and every day. Not just once in a while, you know, yes. not just every Christmas or, or once a year, but every day. Amen. You're a child of God. Remember, he's the head and we're the body. Mm -hmm. We're the church. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this building, we assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not the church. We are the church. Amen. So wherever you go, mm -hmm. you're the church. You're, you're, you're the body of Christ going somewhere to heaven. You're it. part of this. Amen. So include yourself. Be a part of it. And do what he wants you to do. Woo! Praise Amen. God. <laughs> Let me read this to you. It's First Peter uh, chapter five verses uh, seven through nine in the uh, Amplified. It goes like this: This is the Christmas season, but still we have so many things. I'm so preoccupied. I don't have. Mm. I can't give. You know, mm. we're so overtaken with these things. You know, mm -hmm. it says casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all yes. your concerns, once and for all, on, on Him. him. Amen. Mm -hmm. For he cares about you with yes. deepest affection and watch over you very carefully. Yes. It says be sober, well balanced, and self-disciplined. Yes. Be alert, be cautious at all times. Mm -hmm. That enemy of yours is telling you mm -hmm. you got one enemy. You got an enemy. It's not your neighbors, <laughs> it's not the people that whatever. Mm -hmm. It says that enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, mm -hmm. fiercely hungry. Seeking someone to devour. Yes. Don't let it be you. That's it. That's you know? So he says, resist him. Mm -hmm. Resist him. Take authority. Yeah. Hey, you've grown, you've grown and you're maturing in the word of God. You're, you, 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 you speak the word. Mm -hmm. And you take authority. So you say, I'm not going to give in to that no more. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that no more. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're taking authority. You say, put a stop here. It stops yes. right here. That's it. Says you resist him. Yeah, yeah. Be firm in your faith. Mm -hmm. Stand on your faith. Stand yes. on the word. Amen. It didn't say uh, stand in your fear. No, no. Exactly. If you're not in the word, you're going to be in fear. Mm. He wants every believer to step out in what faith. Mm -hmm. We step out in faith, but you got to get that faith in you. You got to get that word in you. And I want to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Peter first. Stepped out in faith when he, Jesus says, come. Yeah, and he stepped yeah. out in faith. But then yeah. what happened? Yeah. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I can't do this. For he, he went back to himself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can't do this. And Jesus says, do it. Yeah. But then you say, well, I can't do it. What did he tell the crippled man? He says, get up. Pick up your bed. Rise up and walk. He could have just said, I, I can't do this. I'm crippled. Can't you see? No, but he obeyed. He yes, stepped out in faith. Yes. That's what we need to do on a daily basis. Yeah. And when you speak the word, speak yes. it in faith and tell somebody something. Yeah. This is what God was telling me to say. This is what God wants you to do. And step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Don't hold back. Because we can have all kinds of things uh -huh. 
<laughs> that we can think of and say, I can't do it. I can't do that. Yeah, Moses says, I can't speak. I, I can say that every day. I, I can't speak that well. Huh. Be firm in your faith against his attack. Mm -hmm. He's going to attack. Yes. You already know this. <laughs> you can't be fooled. Know the truth and set you free. You yeah, know yeah. what the enemy comes to do. Steal, Steal kill, kill, destroy. destroy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hallelujah. It says, be rooted. Mm -hmm. Be established. Be immovable. Yes. You know that word that you're taking? The word that you're studying? The word you're meditating on? It's growing some faith roots in you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be moved. Mm -hmm. Amen? Forget it. I'm not going to be on a run anymore. You can't put me on a run. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> we're stopping here. Mm -hmm. We're making an about phase. And we're going to put you on a run. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from, flee from you. Mm -hmm. He's got to go. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid of me. He's afraid of the word I'm speaking. Yes, that's He's afraid it. of the Jesus that's backing me. He's afraid of the Jesus that's mm -hmm. in me. Yeah. And I'm speaking his word. And he's got to go. And say, whoa, 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 whoa. No, he woke up. I'm out of here. Amen. But he's going to keep crying. We got to be yeah. like this devil. He says he is. Uh, where is it? He is uh, prowling around as a roaring lion, fiercely yes. hungry. You got to stay hungry for the things of God and yes. the Word of God and uh, constantly eating the Word, mm -hmm. consuming the Word. Amen? Yes. Woo, hallelujah. So be, he's going to attack, but be rooted. Yes. Be established. Be immovable. Knowing that the same experiences, listen, knowing that the same experiences of yes. sufferings are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world. You do not suffer alone. You know, a lot of times this is the season, you know, where I don't have, I don't have, I can't do. I'm all by myself, you know. No, you're not by yourself. You forgot he's with you. He said he never leaves you, no know, for you. But you start thinking the wrong way because you're trying to be like the crowd and you're trying to be like the world. Amen. Why do we celebrate this season? Jesus mm -hmm. is the reason for the season. Yes. Amen. Don't let nobody tell you different. Mm -hmm. But he's the reason for each and every day in your life. Yes. Amen. So here's the thing is you have a choice. But you have to be obedient to what the yes. word says. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord. So you're not alone. Mm -hmm. So quit letting the enemy bring you to this isolation thing. Mm -hmm. It's just you. Nobody, nobody else is suffering but you. Mm. Amen. Why am I going through this? Mm. First Peter 5, 7, and 9. Easy to read version. I want you to be easy. I want you to get this. First Peter 5, 7 through 9 says, cast, or excuse me, give. Give says cast. And cast means throw it at me. Mm. Just didn't say just hand it over a little That's bit. It. It. He says, cast it, throw it. All your worries, all your cares, all your anxieties to him because he cares about you. Yes. Control yourself and be careful. The devil is your enemy. Yes. He's telling us. Who is your enemy? The devil. Not people. Yeah. Not people. Says the enemy. Your enemy. The devil is your enemy. Mm -hmm. And he goes around like a roaring lion seeking who he may. Uh, uh, looking yeah. for someone to attack oh, and yeah. eat. Says refuse to follow the devil. Refuse. That means you take authority. Yes. You know, Jesus did what he did, and he's in heaven now. He's interceding for us at the right hand of God, a place of authority, a mm -hmm. place of honor. But now you have to do something. Amen. Amen. You have to speak out. Yes. When we speak out, you know, when it's nice and convenient for us, <laughs> but we need to speak out when we need to speak the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter who's listening. That's I'm going to say it because Amen. God wants me to say it. Stand strong in faith. Amen. Don't fear. Yes. Use authority. Yes. And we need to use that authority. When I use authority, when, when I'm speaking His word, I'm taking authority. Amen. You know that your brothers and sisters, believers all over the world are having the same suffering that you have. Yeah. We go through the same thing. Amen. But the enemy tries to isolate you mm -hmm. and just get you off by yourself. You know, <laughs> you know, we talk about the 99 sheep yep. and one got away one got and away. he's concerned about that one. He yeah. wants you back. Amen. 
He wants you back. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4 and 6 says this in the Amplified. Don't be anxious or worried about anything. But in everything, every circumstance, in every situation, yes. by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue yes. to make your specific request known to God. Yes. Yes. Lord, I need you now more than ever. Mm -hmm. I need you now, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you know why he's there with you? Yes. Remember, he's he's not gone. We just start thinking and we start renewing our minds yes. and we start getting away from it yes. and we start walking away mm -hmm. and we need to refocus, get that GPS right in the yes. word and focus on him yes. and get Amen. back to where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you don't if you don't spend time with him, if you don't have a relationship, if you're not in the word, you're gonna be distracted. Because you need to be strong in the word and stay on your ground. Otherwise, you're going to walk away. Yep. And the enemy's going to see to it. Amen. You know, all these little excuses we talked about last week, they're going to want to ride. And if you give them a ride, they're going to take you further than you want to go, oh, keep yeah. you longer than you want to stay, uh -huh. and cost you more than you oh, can pay. Yes. Yes. And we said, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't take that trip. Mm -hmm. I want to stay mm -hmm. on the narrow road amen yeah. on that on his road what he has for me again another one psalms 55 and 22 you write these down yeah. easy to read version says this yes. give yes. cast your worries to the lord mm -hmm. and he will care and he will care for you yes. he will never let those who are good be defeated mm -hmm. right amen but still what we got to do what's our choice mm -hmm. our choice is to speak yeah. his word the word. Don't be silent. That's Amen. It. Speak it out. When you speak it out, you know, it's gonna this truth is gonna set you free. Yes. Amen. Um I'm gonna say it like this. Just 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 bear with me. But it says, <laughs> see Jesus our Savior as your daily garbage man. <laughs> he cleans us and takes our garbage of sin away mm. so we can be clean mm -hmm. and ready to serve him. Yes. Amen. Yes. To serve Him. He can take our garbage of sin and shame, our heavy bags of regrets, and cast it into the landfills of forgetfulness. Yes. Of yes. forgiveness and forgetfulness. Yes. Amen. This is what He's doing. He takes all it. He took it on the cross. Yes, He did. But we need to give it to Him. Mm -hmm. You know. We're still going to be attacked. But you got to do something about it. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Jesus has done it, all this for us. He's taken our old bags of sin, exchanged it for a new beginning, mm -hmm. for a new start, for a new life with Him. So, uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says this in the New Living Translation. He says, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ, do you belong to Christ? If you haven't accepted Him, now's the time. Quit yes. running. Amen. And quit carrying all these weights with you. Amen. Amen. If you belong to Christ. Are you a believer? Have you accepted Jesus? Mm -hmm. Now's the time before the yes. new year comes. You know, yes. you can leave your past behind mm -hmm. and not be concerned about it anymore. It says, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. Yes. Be a new person. Amen. I'm not trying to be a people pleaser. I'm trying to be a God pleaser. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make a change right now in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Regardless of what people say, I'm not trying to please Him anymore. That's it. You know? Where was I? It says, a new person. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. That's it. The old is gone. The new is in. But you know what? The enemy, the <clears throat> devil, the battlefield of the mind, you're always going to think this. Well, I don't feel safe. I don't feel uh, like I'm changed. But you're going to have to take the word and change all these things. Yes, change all these thoughts. Renew your mind with the word of God. Right. Amen. Yeah. And regardless of what people say, you know when they see you physically, they still see the same person. Of course. But inside, I had a rebirth. Yes. Yes. I had a new birth on the yes. inside. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. The old is gone. The new is in. Yes. Amen. Say, wait a minute. You look different. You sound different. You're talking different. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you're dressing different and you're hanging out with a different crowd that's right you know hey you know what the old are gone <laughs> the new is in he's going to bring new friends for a season short long medium whatever but he's going to bring new yes. friends around yes. Yes. amen 
We just got to make this choice. We got to make this choice. Since Jesus is our Savior, He took all our garbage of, on His shoulders when He went to the cross. Amen. Amen. And He's still standing. He survived. He was put to death, but He rose. Amen. And He, he went to heaven. He says, you know what? What I did, you can do. Amen. Amen. And He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. Last week we talked about go like your world. Amen. Go into all the world, wherever you, your world happens to be. Yes. Go like your world. Amen. This world is dark and sin, but you go like it. Why? Yes. Because you bring the light. Amen. Amen. Don't let your light go out. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Blessing me. I don't know about you. Amen. Hallelujah. John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world, he sinned. Yes. His only begotten son. So, you know, hey, this is, this is the text right here, you know. God said, I want my people back. So he sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus showed his agape love, yes. his unconditional love yes. for us. He paid the price. You know, each and every day he made a choice. Mm -hmm. He could have said, uh, hey, hey, Dad. <laughs> These people are ungrateful. I don't want to go with this no more. So get me out of here. And that would have been the end of it. That would have been the end of us. So yeah, you could say, you know, if, if Jesus took off, <laughs> we would have said, hey, when you die, it's over. But not anymore. When you, when you, when we, as a child of God, when you die, it's only the beginning. Yes, amen. Amen. But I, I want to make sure I'm going up and not down. <laughs> you make that choice. Don't let nobody else decide for you. And nobody else can confess it for you. You have to confess with your own mouth. Amen. Yes. Amen. And receive your salvation. Amen. It's a free gift. And Jesus yes, is. is a gift. It, it, that's a, for salvation is free. Mm -hmm. But we need to receive that gift. Amen. So let's remember that. Jesus gave it all. It says, give it all to Jesus. Cast it all on Him. Life brings circumstances that causes anxieties, worries, cares, problems, troubles, fears, panic. Emotions can run high at some point. The loss of control can happen due to carrying these extra cares or extra weights with you. Yeah. Matthew 11, 28 through 30 says this in the uh, New King James. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. Amen. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And 30 says this, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Hallelujah. And the easy to read, I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version. It says, come to, come to me, all of you who are tired from the heavy burdens you have been forced to carry. I will give you rest. Why are you forced to carry these things? Because you don't know the truth. Mm -hmm. If you knew the truth, you would have gave it up a long time ago. Uh, yes, but some yeah. of us are still carrying that burden. That's it. Something that Jesus already paid for. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if you go to the store and somebody already paid for those things for you, oh, gosh. why would wow. you go and pay yes. it again? Oh, no. That's, it. That's ridiculous. Yes. That's, uh, <laughs> Well, I don't want to say it. It was gone to see, yeah. You know, so if he paid for it, receive it. Accept it. Amen. Amen. All you have to do is, is accept. You know, once once he leaves his hand, you got it. It's yours. You can have it, but you have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Is a burden you have been forced to carry. Mm -hmm. well, it is forced to carry because you don't know the truth. And if you know the truth and not do anything about it, that's even worse. Yes. Because you know it's you know you've been set free, but now you're back in a mess. Yeah. He didn't put you there. He didn't make that for you. He made a way out. Yes. But you yeah. still choose to be in that. <clears throat> that's not right. You need to renew your mind, get back in the word. And start living for him and doing the right things. Amen. Amen. It says, 29 says, accept my teachings. Learn from them. It says, I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will be able to get some rest. Uh -huh. You know, when you get in the word, you know what the word says. So you don't have to be bothered with these cares, these burdens, these problems. 
because I want to have peace about it. Lord, I'm casting, giving it all to you. I don't need this. You know when you have problems, it's when you start doing it by yourself and start worrying about right how am I going to do this. Well, you ain't going to do it. You're going to have a hard time. You're going to have a headache. You're going to have body aches. And you're going to have a heart attack. And you're going to die. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to. Amen. Verse 30 says this. Yes, the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, he puts us on a mission. And our mission is to reconcile people back yes. to us. Amen. Amen. We carry the word. We carry his light into this dark, sinful world. Amen. Amen. Colossians uh, 3, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. New King James says, And then you were raised, if then you were raised with Christ, seek these things which are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. Yeah. But you know, we start thinking like the world, acting like the world, and you're going to be lost. Yeah. Amen. It says, set your mind on things above, you know. So it says, if then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting yeah. at the right hand of God. Set yeah. your mind on things above, Think not about. on things of the earth. Amen. 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 If you don't make that change, you're going to be doing the same thing over and over and over. It's just a repeating cycle, just like that little hamster on that little wheel, man. He's going 100 miles, but guess what? He ain't going nowhere. Right. <laughs> now he's doing a lot of work, right. but nothing. So let's not get too busy and forget about him set your priorities right each and every day before you go yes. amen Set, seek him first i think that's matthew 6 33 you know seek you first the kingdom of god is right Just all these things shall be added unto you and get our priorities right hey when you, when you go to work i was military for 20 plus years and we had priorities each and every day but that doesn't mean that i i didn't put jesus first mm -hmm before my military yeah. duties amen yeah. i put him first i get right with him first amen. seek him first before i do anything else amen amen praise god and that's why god set your priorities right on, on life yeah set your priorities right of life on him daily matthew six thirty three says this therefore do not worry the new king james says do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or uh -huh. what shall we wear and that's why Christmas time, you know, it says, what am I going to oh, buy? Yeah. How am I going to buy? Yeah. What am I going to do? I don't have anything, you know. And verse 32 says, for after all these things, the Gentiles seek for your heavy, heavenly Father knows uh, though, uh, that you need all these things. And verse 33 says, but seek first the kingdom of God is righteousness and all these things shall yes. be added on to you. Amen. Amen. Seek him first. Yes. Not just once in a while, not just Christmas, but each and every day. That's it. Hey, I've got a priority. I've got a job to do. Mm -hmm. And I've got priorities when I get there. But before I get yeah. there, I'm going to get myself right with Amen. my Savior. Amen. 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 <laughs> How can believers enjoy a happy and joyful life? Casting all cares on Him daily. So that you can stay in control Amen. and never out of control. Never out of control. Amen. Always in control. Amen. Speak to your cares. Speak yes. to your mountains. Speak to your giants. Magnify your God before yes. you magnify your problems. Yes. When you magnify him first, you know, them problems have to take a back seat. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm giving them all to him. So I ain't got nothing else to give you except magnifying him. Gratitude. Amen. Having an attitude of gratitude each and every day. Amen. Amen. An uh, 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 attitude of, of, of giving thanks. Okay? We don't have to do that just on Thanksgiving Day. But every day, have Amen. an attitude of gratitude. Amen. If you don't hear the attitude, have an attitude of gratitude. <laughs> Magnify Jesus not your problem. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yeah. Amen. So, feed yourself the word, and your faith is going to grow. Your yes. fears are going to grow. Yes. A go. Amen. If you're not walking in, in, in faith, you're walking in fear. Yeah. Amen. You ain't going to do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. And your flesh, you know, he just wants to be comfy and do nothing. All right. 
you just got to give him, give him a kick in the, como se llama, you know, and get him going. You know, yes. a, a, a spiritual kick <laughs> with the word yes. says, hey, I'm feeding my spirit man the word of God. I'm renewing my mind. So yes. flesh, I'm crucifying you yes. and I'm giving you a kick on the body behind so you can get going. Let's go. Yes. It's time to get busy for Jesus. Amen. We get busy for everything else but Jesus. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> it says, Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. And the Bible says, You, and you can take that you and put your name there. Jose can do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So remember, we've talked about these, but God is bigger than any mountain that you can or cannot see. Mm -hmm. He's bigger than anything, any yes. of your problems. Amen. God is the God on the mountain, and God is God in the valley. In the valley. When you're ups and downs, you know, we go yeah. through so ups and downs, but guess what? The God that's up there with you yeah. is the same God that's with you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Remember Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall yes. not want. He goes there. You know, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Mm -hmm. Man, I can walk through hell with, with Christ. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Whatever valleys you're going through, right. Christ is with me. Yes. You know what? The devil's going to stay away. Mm -hmm. Amen. But make any move towards you, say, okay, greater is he that's in me. I'm holding on to him. That's it. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Again, God tells us to cast all things on him. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, <clears throat> we get in troubles when we try to help him mm -hmm. by just saying, well, I'm going to take care of it. Well, I'm just going to give you half and keep the other half so it won't be so hard on you. <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> He can do a whole lot better yeah. job than us. Yeah. Yeah. He knows what yes. to do with it. Matter of fact, he's already done something about it. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. He overcame that. He 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 was sacrificed for it. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> we all know this, but we won't do it. We know, <coughs> but we won't do it. We're still holding on to it. We're still holding on to the world, and we're holding on to God, mm -hmm. and we want to please both. You know, we can't do that. We gotta. Be God pleasers, not people pleasers, you know. Amen. Amen. He says, What? I'll take you whole cold, I'll take you hot. Mm -hmm. But I ain't gonna take you lukewarm. That's it. He says, I'll spit you out. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to happen to me. Don't let it happen to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're gonna give it up, make a change. It's yes. time to make the change. Yes, yes. Let it go. He says, Hey, them friends, let them go. Whatever things, let them go. Let it go. He's gonna bring new things by you. He's Amen. gonna bring you new new friends around you. That are going to help you and be there for you and pray for you. Mm. Amen. Not use you and abuse you. Mm. Woo, come on now. <laughs> we all know this, but we won't do it. Mm. We give it. We give it and we take it back. Mm. Amen. You don't want to do that. I, I, I've said this many times to you. When you go to the dumpster and dump all your trash, no, do you ever take it back? Say, oh, no, no man, that smells no, good. No. <laughs> I want all this trash back. No. Give it, leave it. Yes. Same right. thing with Jesus. You know, give it and leave it. Amen. He's got great plans for you. You don't need to be carrying all of this extra stuff. He's got great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. Amen. He doesn't see you that way, so don't see yourself that way. That's it. Woo, hallelujah. Put your Jesus glasses on and see people with love and compassion yes. each and every day as you step out. Amen. Amen. We take back because we're not caring, and <laughs> because we're caring and worrying champions. Mm. Oh, well, no. Don't be one of them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a champion for Jesus. Amen. Yes. <laughs> the best thing to do is just give it up and leave it there. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He don't need our help. He's already defeated Satan and the oh, same yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing as we close. Amen. Praise God. Just Thank obey. You. Make the right choice. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if somebody's going to give you a million dollars, I say, well, wait a minute. Let me Make think about right it. <laughs> Make the right choices. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm blessed to be a blessing, the Bible says. Amen. Woo, thank Amen. you, Lord. Yes. Let me read you this before we go. Live to give. Today, every day, is a day to give. Not just Christmas season. That's it. Amen. But each and every day is a, is a day to give. Amen. Mm -hmm. Even if your bank account says zero, mm -hmm. finances are not the only thing believers 
have to give. That's right. That's right. Amen. Believers, we have more than that to give. God gave his best. He gave his son. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave his best. Amen. And we have salvation, a free gift of mm -hmm. salvation. Believers, yeah. give your best. Don't be pretenders. Don't pretend. Mm -hmm. You come in here, we assemble ourselves together, and amen, hallelujah, and everything's fine. <laughs> amen. You're the holiest Christian there is until right, right, right. we walk out before the, 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 the door. <laughs> and then you go find your friends. No. And you go find the world. And you go find all these distractions. Don't be that way. Yeah. Amen. Be a champion for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Of course, uh, uh, that is based on John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave. Amen. He gave his only yeah. begotten son. And we have believed that him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Luke 6, 38 says this in New, New King James. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run it over. Will be put in your bosom. But with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Yeah. Amen. And here's the thing. is When you give, it shall be given to you to overflow you cannot outgive God. Amen. What can I give? I can give love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. I can give of myself. I can give of my time. I can give of my uh, uh, compassion. Mm -hmm. I can give a kind word, a cheerful yes. word, a joyful word. I can have an attitude of gratitude. Amen. I can give appreciation, encouragement, honor, happiness, hope. And I can give a prayer to somebody. Amen. So we got lots of things to give besides yes. just finances. Yes, Amen. So when we get full of Christ, we have these things and we can show these things. And people see the difference. Man, you've changed. You can't hang out with us. <laughs> I don't plan to anymore. <laughs> Amen. I'm hanging out with Jesus. Amen. I'm hanging out with Him. So praise God. Woo. Before we close, I just want you to know God loves you and we love you. Amen. So some of you... You're still lost. Mm. It's time for you to come to Christ. Amen. Yes, and you. all you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against yes. you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And he won't turn you down. He'll receive you. Just like he received a robber at the cross. You know, he didn't have to go through all these membership classes. Yes. All this do's and don'ts, you know, religious yes. do's and don'ts. No. Yes. Right now, he's, he wants you. Yes. And he's going to use you. He he makes you to be a winner, not yes, a loser. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. And things are going to change. Mm -hmm. You just got to get into the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Get into a Bible-based church mm -hmm. where you can assemble yourselves together and be encouraged by yes. other believers. Amen. Thank you, so, praise God. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, <laughs> whew, I give it to you. I thank you. That by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Mm -hmm. And I confess that on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Know that you can, you are healed by Jesus Christ. So yes. no, I receive no malfunctions in my body. That's it. That's it. That's it. Every organ, every tissue, every muscle, everything in my body functioning to the perfection God created yes. to function. Created. But you got to speak it. Yeah. Amen. Just like we always speak, oh man, I'm making, oh man, I'm hurting, <laughs> all of this sickness, all of this thing. You know, confessing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. When we could be confessing, thank you, Lord, that by Jesus Christ I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus, that you paid. Uh, for my healing. Yes. And I receive my healing. So body line up with the word of God and be Amen. healed. Amen. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. So I call you well and I call you healed in Jesus' name. Praise God. It's time to give. Yeah. Amen. There you go. <laughs> so go to our website, NBC Big Ben. Should be on our screen there. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas. 79843 yes. and Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Bay. And God loves you, we love you, and have a, a very Merry Christmas. Amen. God bless you.